Hey everyone, I hope you people are doing great. So we will be discussing few questions on electrical engineering gate 2023 paper. So you know all the solutions you have got to get. Besides, a few people are expressing doubts regarding marks to all questions or controversial questions or confusing questions. So in this session, I have brought two questions. One question is network transient which involves AC and DC. And one question is microcontroller question which appeared in your electrical engineering paper. But Fortunately or unfortunately, there is no microprocessor, microcontroller in your syllabus. Your syllabus mein microcontroller to nahi hai, but the question appeared that is this one. So, firstly, let us understand the question. Let me explain the solution. Then I will tell you, you will be getting what are the chances for getting full marks in this. That is, marks to all possible, not possible. Let us see. Okay. So, chalo, listen, because sometimes there is a possibility. They may give you the question from microcontroller. They may say that it is a basic question based on digital only. You cannot claim. That can also possible. Take it. That's why let's have some logical analysis in this. Take it. So you have a 8-bit general purpose microcontroller. Following flags. Carry auxiliary carry overflow parity. And R0, R1, R2 general purpose registers of the microcontroller. After the execution of. After the execution of the following instruction, so he said here x and plus x means hexadecimal r0 is equal to 60 hexadecimal r1 move means it will be transferring the data 46 hexadecimal r0 is equal to 0 1 1 0 0 0 0 0 in the binding r1 is 46 na? add both of them. If you add them, you get A6, right? 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1 plus 1, some 0, carry 1, 1, okay, and no carry. Right. Now, listen here. Generally, if you take these two numbers and identify the logic, you have taken two positive numbers, you got the result as negative number, which means it is wrong. It indicates this is the overflow. Overflow is nothing but generally given by when these two bits are XORed, you get the overflow. Right? When they are different, it means they, it is containing some information. And similarly, the carry here is this is the carry bit 0. And this addition is not giving anything. This is called as auxiliary carry. Okay. Auxiliary carry is asked. Yes, asked. Auxiliary carry is 0. And he asked parity. Parity is nothing but the number of ones in the result. He is saying parity is 0 for even number of ones, 1 for odd number of ones. How many ones are there? Count 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 means even number of ones are present. Parity is even. Generally, even is 1, odd is 0 in microcontrollers. But he has given specifically even is 0. Then what is the CAOP? C ka matlab carry. A ka matlab 0, overflow 1, parity 0. So, what is the answer here? Parity is 0 for even. Na? So, it is 2. Decimal equivalent of this one is 2. Okay, fine, sir. Koi baat nahi. But basic digital ka knowledge aapke paas hai to number systems pata hai to you can answer it. Even number system is not specified in your digital circuits. They can ask you from number systems, I told earlier also. But in this case, mein, because he specified microcontroller, he used the language of the microcontroller assembly language. This is called ALP, assembly language programming. If microprocessor microcontroller is not part of your syllabus, there is no rule you should know about move and add of instructions. Theke? Even it is a very basic question. I feel that definitely you should get marks to a 100%. I feel you can get. Even it is an easy question. You, you have the right to claim mark to all. Definitely you will be getting it. Because you, there is no rule. Even this part, maybe in the digital, they can say that overflow is a part of digital. Carry is a part of digital. They can say. Even number system is not also specified in the electrical engineering syllabus. Okay. But this assembly language programming, in any case, they cannot relate that. Okay. Because it is not specified microprocessor or microcontroller. Even microprocessor is in syllabus. If they used to have microcontroller, no problem. We may say that, uh, I mean, the terminology is similar. We, they may uh, take the excuse. 
but here it is impossible okay i feel that definitely you will be getting marks in this no doubt in it 100% possibility hai aapko marks milne ke liye koi doubt hi nahi hai theek hai you will get the marks rest assured don't worry about it chalo now come here whether you answer it or not it doesn't matter you will be getting the marks is question to 100% genuine question hai perfect question hai इसमें आपको मार्क्स मिलने वाला बात ही नहीं है डोंट थिंक क्वेश्चन तो गलत है और ये तो डीसी ऐसी स्टेटमेंट में कुछ मिस हो रहा है ऐसा कुछ नहीं बिकॉज ड्यूरिंग द सोल्यूशन टाइम आई डोंट गेट दिस क्वेश्चन प्रॉपरली बट आई गॉट द क्वेश्चन प्रॉपरली नाउ आई कैन आंसर दिस आई विल गिव यू द प्रॉपर सोल्यूशन फॉर दिस इसमें एवरी सिंगल लाइन इज परफेक्टली मेड एंड इट इज करेक्ट परफेक्टली मेड एंड इट इज करेक्ट सो इस वाला क्वेश्चन पे आपको you don't get any mark undoubtedly i can say theek hai so here don't expect mta i will explain the solution for this question theek hai so but reading the question understanding the question common sense makes a lot of sense in this kind of questions so in the circuit shown in the figure initially the steady state the switch k is open k wala open kiya k bar wala close kiya theek hai so initially at steady state that is uh k bar is opened now the switch k is closed and k bar is initially k open hai k bar closed hai then t equal to t1 which is greater than 0 some value where is the t here sir generally the switching action takes place at time t equal to 0 he is here 0 is not the point of the switching action t1 is the point of switching action if you have attended my transient class us samay pe hum to discuss bhi kiya ye wala logic aap kya wal tan inverse omega l by r tan inverse omega r se wala concept padh ke network analysis ka question answer karna chahiye to you cannot answer this question there if you have seen my videos whether it is in lecture batch or tesla batch or the plus course you can definitely see that i have explained the meaning of t here in the transient free conditions that knowledge will help you to solve this question definitely here the t is with respect to sin t the first wala case mein uh, uh, that is t1 uh, tak iske baad jo t hota hai na that is according to the switching action we will take it so listen here this is the t which we are having here he is speaking about that theek hai with respect to that t only he is speaking chalo now so before t1 t1 ke pehle at a t equal to t1 switching action takes place just before aapka network kaisa hai bhai network is in steady state theek hai स्टडी स्टेट बट हियर इनपुट इज ए सी ना हम तो फेजर डोमाइन में ले सकते हैं फेजर डोमाइन में दिस इज वन एंगल जीरो डिग्रीज आप साइन ले लो रेफरेंस कॉस्ट ले लो मैक्सिमम वैल्यू ले लो आर एम एस ले लो बट वापस आपको सेम मिलेगा टेन एंड हियर वॉट इज वन बाई जे ओमेगा सी वन बाई जे 10 पावर 3 इंटू टेन पावर माइनस फोर माइनस जे टेन ठीक है माइनस जे टेन नाउ दिस इज योर आई सी एंड वी सी इन द स्टडी स्टेट सो फर्स्ट पार्ट आई एम फाइंडिंग माई आई सी एंड वी सी वैल्यूज सो वॉट इज माई आई सी वन इंटू अपोजिट इंपिडेंस बाई टोटल इंपिडेंस ठीक है रियल एक्सिस पॉजिटिव इमेजिनरी एक्सिस नेगेटिव इज टीटा सो वन बाय रूट टू डिनोमिनेटर में माइनस टीटा न्यूमरेटर इट इज प्लस फोर्टी फाइव डिग्रीज ठीक है टेन इनवर्स बी बाई ए डिनोमिनेटर रियल एक्सिस पॉजिटिव इमेजिनरी नेगेटिव मीन्स माइनस टीटा इन द डिनोमिनेटर न्यूमरेटर इट विल बी टीटा टेन टेन कैंसल्स वन बाय रूट टू इज द मैग्नेट्यूड देन वॉट अबाउट वी सी सर वी सी इक्वल टू माइनस जे टेन इंटू वन बाय रूट टू एंगल फोर्टी फाइव डिग्रीज so 10 angle minus 90 degrees by root 2 plus 45 degrees so what is the resultant sir 5 root 2 angle minus 45 degrees then what is vc of t with respect to time domain 5 root 2 is because i have taken maximum value in the representation what i get should be treated as maximum input is sin we should take sin omega 1000 t minus 45 degrees so first thing is you understand okay up to t1 up to t1 okay that is just t before t1 
okay what is your vc of t 5 root 2 sin 1000 t minus 45 degrees is the condition okay Yehi the clear now at time t equal to t1 what happens at time t equal to t1 which is a greater than 0 time t equal to t1 which is a greater than 0 okay here you should substitute the t1 okay what happens k is closed k bar is opened theek hai so main kya karna chalo ek kaam karta hu ek aur bar copy kar raha hu isko theek hai for time t Okay, time t, otherwise here itself I'll write, t greater than t1, t1 pe mene ye switch ko close karke, is wala switch ko mene open kiya. K bar ko open karke, k ko close kiya. ठीक है, this is my K वाला स्विच तो क्लोज किया, K बार वाला स्विच को, this is just a name, K K बार, okay, don't confuse with that, they are not the variables, ठीक है, it is closed, it is open, now ये वाला capacitor जो है ना, it is seeing only this part, it is seeing only this part, okay, so here, it is a capacitor circuit, you can see it is DC, 5, 10 ohm. So, before t, t less than t1, what is your Vc of t? 5 by root 2 sin 1000 t minus 45 degrees. ठीक है भाई, ठीक है? जान से सुनो, ठीक है? Listen carefully. Now, you forget about this part because it is shorted it will be current is rotating like this and this part is seeing only this because it is shorted this part is of no use for us okay so 5 and 10 are seeing the capacitor only now capacitor is having a time t equal to t1 if you have suppose this sort of waveform okay okay this sort of waveform you are having. Okay. This is the waveform you are having in your response. Okay. Phi by root 2, this one. Just a minute. Phi by root 2 or phi root 2? Phi root 2. Oh, phi by root 2 hai to transitory condition possibly nahi hota hai. Iske baare mein we discuss karta hai. हाँ चलो भाई five root two ठीक है so this is kind of so at time t equal to t one I need to close the switch such that there is no transient here I mean at one at t one you will be getting some v naught at t one you are you are closing this switch opening this switch उस समय पे capacitor तो का voltage ऐसा vary हो रहे हो रहे हैं at one particular time I close the switch and I disconnected the supply so capacitor will be having some initial voltage what is that voltage? V naught and the capacitor. Now, what is the formula for Vc? What is the formula for Vc? Vc of infinity plus Vc of 0 minus Vc of infinity e power minus t by tau. If this part is equal to 0, then if this part 0 ho tau, Vc equal to Vc of infinity. There is no transient. Ye hai amara transient na. Agar mene Vc of infinity ko Vc ko equal kiya to, there is no transient bhaiya. No transient. This case, this ko bolte transient free condition. That is my response. Vc must be equal to Vc of infinity directly. Then this part must be zero. How to make this part zero? That is Vc of 0 nahi here actually we should write t1 because you have operated the switch at t1 here also t minus t1 aega wo to chod do because it is of not much important actually you should write this as a t minus t1 tk koi dikkat nahi iske baare 
चलो लेसन हियर ओके सो दिस इज टी माइनस टी वन दैट वी नीड नॉट वरी अबाउट इट बिकॉज दिस पार्ट जीरो है तो इसका कोई लॉजिक ही नहीं होता है ना सो वी सी इक्वल टू वी सी ऑफ इन्फिनिटी नो ट्रांजियंट राइट इसके लिए ये पार्ट जीरो करना सो वट इज द रिक्वायर्ड कंडीशन हियर इज योर वी सी ऑफ वी सी एट टाइम टी इक्वल टू टी वन मस्ट बी इक्वल टू वी सी ऑफ इन्फिनिटी वॉट इज वी सी ऑफ इन्फिनिटी हियर If you replace this with a open circuit, what is the voltage you will be getting in the steady state is five volts. ठीक है हो गया question हो गया question. So now what is my required condition? V C of T one must be equal to V C of infinity. What is V C of T one? Five root two sine one thousand T one minus forty five degrees. I am writing pi by four. This must be equal to five. ठीक है so sin 1000 t1 minus pi by 4 must be equal to 5 by 5 root 2 1 by root 2 so sin theta equal to 1 by root 2 and theta equal to 45 degrees so in radians it is 1000 t1 minus pi by 4 must be pi by 4 1000 t1 must be pi 2 because you add this t1 equal to 1.57 milliseconds that is the value of the time where you need to uh, that is when you have this kind of sinusoidal wave form across this capacitor when it reaches 5 if you close this and open this then steady state value and initial value are same then there will not be any transient generally if you read the transient free condition as a simple formula of tan inverse omega l by r or tan inverse omega rc then you cannot interpret this and understand this question but if you understand the meaning of the transient free which we have done in the class also you can definitely answer this question ठीक है, so it very good question. Here he has also used this. Sir, minimum value of t1 क्यों बोला? Because it is a periodical waveform. It repeats after every two pi, every two pi. So this process will happen again here also. T1 plus time period. He is asking the first t1. So every line in this question is having a meaning. Minimum value is कभी कोई मतलब है. That is how he made the question. This is the beautiful question. so don't expect marks to all in this question or don't think anything wrong in this question not even a single word is wrong in this question theek hai properly perfectly framed if you are able to think in this way definitely you will be able to answer it theek hai i have seen many less number of people are able to answer this question okay so comment yaar aur kuch questions hai to maine answer karna chahiye aapko network ka digital ka सिग्नल का ओके okay, इसी वाला बच्चों का भी मैं देखता हूँ अगर कुछ ऐसा क्वेश्चन है तो आई विल ब्रिंग इट बैक एंड सॉल्व इट फॉर यू थैंक यू वेरी मच सी यू ऑल वन मिनट ठीक है सो अन अकेडमी का ऑफलाइन सेंटर का एग्जाम चल रहा है भाई आप हाँ इसको एग्जाम पे पार्टिसिपेट कर सकते हैं एंड नाउ देर इज एन ऑफर ऑन एन अकेडमी सब्सक्रिप्शन फॉर ट्वेंटी फोर ट्वेंटी फाइव एक्सपीरियंस यू कैन ज्वाइन दैट एंड यूज माई कोड शेंकर टेन फॉर मैक्सिमम डिस्काउंट and rank predictor is also live don't follow i mean not these steps just scan it or in this video description there will be link and enter your details you will be getting the rank prediction use my code here when you want to join my telegram this is my telegram channel na name join it for any kind of help guidance you can approach me thank you very much theek hai thank you so comment if you have any other further queries i am happy to reply you and help you Thank you